Oh, hey, what's up, everyone? I've had a lot of questions about the jacket I've been wearing in a bunch of review videos, so I figured I'd actually show it to you. Today, we'll be looking at the Helion jacket by Defense Mechanisms. And then maybe with this video, people can stop asking me, what jacket is that? <laughs> All right, let's get to it. So I don't know about you, but when I'm looking for something to use as like a daily coat or like a coat for EDC use, I'm trying to find something that's lightweight, but then also retains heat really well. And I think defense mechanisms really hit it out of the park with this Helion jacket. And this multicam looks stupid cool. And if you haven't been following along, we also showed off some previous gear from Defense Mechanisms with their modular placard system and their badass Mission Essential plate carrier that we did in Multicam Tropic. All without any stupid drip marketing crap too. Before we get too far though, I just wanna remind you that if you wanna purchase any Defense Mechanisms products or this jacket, make sure to use discount code TLDCO so you can save yourself a few bucks on those products. So today, we're gonna go over the Helion jacket, we'll go over all the purchasing options, and then what exactly I settled on. Then we'll move to look at all the features of the Helion, the improvements over a lot of the other jackets on the market, and why it works so well for both a civilian and tactical use. And my experience with it after wearing it for the past few months. Getting started though, there's quite a few different purchasing options, so let's go over all of those first. When you select the Helion jacket, you're gonna see a few different styles of jacket. There is the Helion jacket, the Helion Type B, and the pullover style. The Helion jacket uses breathable side elastic to sacrifice a tiny bit of cold protection for a jacket with improved breathability that allows heat to escape out the side of the cummerbund when worn with the plate carrier. And I'll show you these in more detail too when we get to the actual features, but the side slits are actually elastic too, so it allows the Helion to be a little more form-fitting and actually gives the jacket kind of an athletic fit, and it's a fit that you won't see in any of the other selections from the Helion lineup. The Helion Type B sacrifices the elastic side slit for a tad more warmth and wind protection, along with a bottom shock cord that the Helion doesn't have. And what's interesting is on the Helion jacket, they actually use that bottom cord retention, like the actual retention for it's in the pocket. And it's not on the outside, like the ones on the Arcteric jackets that nobody ever uses. But the trade-off, you, you know, you gain some more heat protection, but then the Helion Type B has more of a boxy style of fit. And that Type B doesn't have a way to like dissipate the heat on the side at all if you're active. And the more I've used this, I've really learned to love that feature. And then we have the Type B pullover, which is similar to the Type B, but with a large front insulated pocket over the bottom zipper area. Think 1992 starter jacket. Tactical 1992 starter jacket. The pullover has the same boxy shape as the Helion B and echoes the same bottom retention cord to trap additional heat with the retention cords again placed inside the pocketed area. And there's also women's versions of all of these, but the women's versions have a more hourglass shape to them. So if you're a man, you may not want that. So in the end, you can tell I went with the Helion jacket. I like the more athletic fit, and I like the actual ability of the jacket to shed off some heat through the side of the actual elastic portion here. Plus, being in the Midwest, you have to understand what layering is anyway. Looking at the next set of options on our Helion jacket are the available sizes. One of the more remarkable things is that there is also an extra small and a 3XL, which can oftentimes be rare to see in jacket sizes in the tactical world. I found the sizing to be pretty true to size too. I wear an extra large shirt, this is an extra large jacket, and it fits me about perfectly. And maybe this is a good point to stop and say something. The Defense Mechanism's Helion is closely designed around the Arcteryx Atom jacket. But for reasons, the Arcteryx Atom is designed for super small people with super tiny hands. So it's really nice to see Defense Mechanism's making their jacket for actual like full-size adults. 
<laughs> All right, moving back to our set of options, the next one allows us to pick between a hood or a collar. And I chose to go ahead and get the hooded option, but some people may not want the collar because then in some layering of like your cold weather layering, you may end up with a hood on a hood. And I hate that, it, it looks stupid. Next, you can pick between which colors you want. And this is pretty straightforward. You can pick between black, ranger green, coyote, multicam, and wolf gray. Side note though, the multicam is a proprietary fabric, so you may find it's not gonna be quite as robust as some of the other color options. But you look cool as hell, so it's all right. And then you can select if you wanna have Velcro patches on the side of the jacket or not. And I ended up doing the patch version on my Helion. So then we could add in our sweet thin line defense patches that we got custom from Bald Bros. And find the last option is the patrol option. This adds an area to the jacket for a badge, along with a bit of paracord to connect in your PTT if you're on patrol. For obvious reasons, I didn't get that. All right, so those are all the ordering options and you can see exactly what I chose. But let's move on and look over all the features of the actual Helion in closer detail. And as I said previously, the Helion is designed closely around the Arcteryx Atom with some important differences. The Atom seems like it was designed to fit adult children and designed by an engineer in an office somewhere. And the Helion was designed by people actually using it and designed to fit full-size adults. And we'll get into that as we look it over, but the first thing you notice when you open the Helion is how insanely light it is. And part of that lightness is from defense mechanisms understanding about how they need to form that air gap to keep you insulated. Most jackets use down to keep an air gap between the body and the outside of the jacket. But down has a huge problem if it's anywhere near water. Once it's wet, it gets all clumpy and gross. And once it's wet, it loses about 100% of its cold resistant properties. So the defense mechanisms folks chose to use a synthetic insulation on the Helion that retains 80% of its cold resistance even when wet. And the vision from defense mechanisms on the Helion jacket is really a mid-layer duty jacket that can be used on patrol with this synthetic insulation. It easily flattens under a plate carrier to keep you warm when you're stagnant and breathes on the side to off-gas heat when the activity levels go up and then provide heat to you even when saturated with moisture. And the outer layer is just as cool too. The defense mechanisms guys are normal users like you and I, and were annoyed by supposedly high-end jackets getting torn up by stippled grips on EDC pistols. So to find the right materials, defense mechanisms actually took one of those aggressively stippled grips and rubbed it up and down on a bunch of different fabrics. And surprise, surprise, most of those fabrics absolutely shredded when they rubbed their grips against it. The fabric they settled on actually wore a smooth spot on the grip of the pistol. The DM team also increased the overall length of the jacket so it covers your EDC better. And this doesn't make me look like I'm smuggling wrenches whenever I'm trying to EDC. So if you're looking for a jacket to EDC carry in, this really is a great option. And the fabric they choose is amazingly soft and quiet. Unlike my Arcteryx soft shell that I swear is just made of sheets of cardboard. All right, so now that you know the material they use to make it and the insulating materials, let's look at the Helion jacket from top down and go over all the features in detail. As noted, I did the hooded version and the hood is meant to be placed underneath your helmet as this is for duty use. The hood is insulated but thin enough to be placed under your gear like I did here with my Opscore SF ballistic helmet. One thing I found that other high-end jackets that use hoods the hood doesn't turn. Here the hooded section actually rotates with me. So then I don't have to rotate like a Sherman tank anytime I have the hood on. Moving down the sleeves, we did the patches like we noted in our choices. The patch area is about four inches tall and three and a half inches wide on both the left and right sides. 
moving to the sleeves, there is also an insulated cuff that is designed to actually work around watches and other objects while still forming a heat retention seal around them. And it worked really well with larger watches like my Garmin Tactics Delta. And since the wrist cuff itself wraps around and secures around your wrist, it makes using gloves or any other objects on your wrist super nice. Moving to the middle of the Helion jacket, we also see a locking center zipper. And this may seem small, but it's really pretty huge. Almost all other jackets have zippers, but they don't lock. So then when you do any sort of activity, the zipper is almost all the way down your chest by the time you're done. Moving to the side, we see the side pockets of the Helion that also include zippers to help keep the content secure. I also noticed that the pockets on the Helion are much larger than the Atom. I found I could easily fit a gloved hand inside the pockets of the Helion to retrieve objects. <laughs> Whereas with the Atom, you gotta have these tiny baby hands just to use the pockets at all. Moving further down the side, we see the Polar Tech side stretch material. Unlike the Helion B models, the retention cord is removed here as the side stretch material keeps the jacket held tight to your body. This provides both a comfortable athletic fit while allowing you to dissipate heat through the sides of your cummerbund. Because with your plates in the way, <laughs> the heat's certainly not coming out the front. The rear of the jacket also has a drop tail to cover your back when you bend over and to give you additional coverage when you sit down in inclement weather and keep your crack from coming out. There are some of you that need this on your normal clothes. Moving to the inside of the Helion, we see a super comfortable 20D liner that didn't need to be nearly as abrasive resistant as the outer materials, with a nice fleece on the inside of the Polar Tech stretch side panels. So yeah, that's all the features of the Helion. So what are my thoughts after using it for a few months? And I'm honestly nothing but happy with it from EDC usage to just normal daily whatever wear. It's been absolutely fantastic. But I think the thing I found the most intriguing and surprised by was just how well it regulated and dissipated heat. It was odd because the jacket almost seemed to regulate my body temperature level by keeping the heat in when I'm inactive Bet you I can throw this stump over that field over there. But then it works to bleed off additional heat when I'm doing intensive activity. And I really like using it out in the cold with a plate carrier also because the insulation material can just be all smooshed down. So I can fit it under my carrier and stay warm without any adjustment to the carrier at all. And as you've seen, some carriers can be a total pain in the ass if you have to adjust them. So it's pretty awesome you can add this into your plate carrier setup and you don't have to adjust anything on your carrier. Uh, but some of you may ask some silly questions like, well, hey, Walsh, what temperature is this jacket rated to? And I'll be honest, that's really a question for you and the temperatures and the climates that you're used to. I'm used to the Midwest where it's below freezing almost every day. And I would say that I found below about 20 degrees out, I would like to layer and double up. But again, it also matters what I'm doing. If I'm super active outside, I wouldn't need those additional layers and the Helion would be just perfect. But overall, I really love this Helion jacket. And I'll be honest, I wanna get a second one just in case anything happened to this one. The Helion just overall seems like a better jacket than expensive offerings as it fits better, has better materials, and it is actually designed for adults. Seriously, have you seen it? Like the Arcteric Atom looks like you're wearing this weird midriff thing. It's weird. And wearing the defense mechanisms jacket over the Arcteryx, I don't have this sudden need to go out and buy a pumpkin latte and drink it with my pinky out. <laughs> well, I hope this review of the Defense Mechanisms Helion Jacket was helpful in your purchasing decisions. I want to say thanks to all of our Patreon supporters. You're the ones that make all this possible, and I love you for it. And I want to thank everyone that likes, comments, and subscribes. Comment down below what you think about the Helion Jacket and what color you're going to get it in. All right, everyone. Ball shout. additional coverage when you sit down in inclement weather and help keep <laughs> keep your crack from coming out. <laughs> Who snuck in the bit about covering your crack? <laughs>